Hello, thanks for joining me for your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 27th of September. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant. Now I'm going to give you an overview of the major strands of this week before going on to give you your specific in-depth forecast. And of course the week begins with Mercury going into a retrograde in the sign of Libra. Well, of course, Libra in energy is all about balance, and the sign is an air sign, so about communication. And, of course, the winged messenger is all about talk and thought. So it's around our relationships that we're really going to have to work hard, not just to when the retrograde finishes, but from when Mercury emerges from shadow on the 3rd of November. In fact, it's been in shadow in this location since the 6th of October. So also this week, Mercury is squaring up with Pluto. Pluto is the planet of passion and of change and of truth. And it may be in our professional situation that it's those relationships that prove to be particularly uh, difficult or tricky. So keeping the lines of communication open is crucial. But of course, Mercury is uh, a planet uh, in the sign of Libra, but it's not the only one. The Sun and Mars are in Libra too, and they're both forging a very constructive link to Saturn in the sign of Aquarius, another air sign, and the sign of friendship. So those ties or bonds or associations which are collaborative, cooperative and constructive can actually go from strength to strength. So don't see Mercury retrograde as being all bad because also Mercury this week is forging a gorgeous alliance to the planet of fortune Jupiter and this is one of those really uplifting uh, angles that can really give us a lot of support and in this case to articulate our ideas and to see the good in situations I think that's going to be really helpful. Now there is a quarter moon on Wednesday in the emotional sign of Cancer and if there is somebody around us that is finding it a little bit more difficult to interact in the way that we want, then we may need to work at this a little harder from then. But also this week, Venus, the second half of the week, forges a very deep and passionate angle to Pluto. And I think this again is just going to remind us of the quality of certain associations but also it can be very good from a financial viewpoint. So if you're working on something and it is requiring a lot of uh, skill, a lot of nous, a lot of acumen, then any kind of relationship around the business world that is based on finances, where the lines of communication are open, can also prove fruitful. If you're new to me or my channel, I'd be honoured if you'd subscribe. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. Also, you can sign up for your free written daily horoscope to be fired to your device each morning. Please see the subscription link beneath this video. I write for many newspapers and websites around the world, including Britain's most read newspaper, The Metro. So it would be a pleasure for you to join me too. And finally, with year 2022 racing up, if you'd like to get your forecast for next year and you order it now, you can get the rest of 21 free, plus a character analysis and 30% off, all based on your unique birth data. So gain searing insights of the opportunities ahead, but also where to steer clear of challenges. Please see the link below. Hello Capricorn and welcome to your in-depth forecast for week commencing the 27th of September. There's a paradox in your chart this week. Mercury goes retrograde in your sector of success, but the Sun and Mars in the same area are forging awesome angles to your ruling planet Saturn in your sector of resources. Now because Saturn's been there since, uh, December the 17th 2020 and was there also for some months from the 22nd of March 20 through to the 2nd of August. Finances has been an area of potential contraction for some Capricorn people but this combination of energies between the Sun and Mars and Saturn could see you start to get rewards for a lot of hard work, patience and diligence. 
But with Mercury retrograde, obviously the communications that you need to carry out need to be very precise. And Mercury also squares with Pluto in your sign. So not everything necessarily is going to be only on your terms. You might have to accept a, a, a pre-existing structure. You may have to fit into someone else's view of how a situation will be. Now usually you're pretty good at understanding how it's been and if, if there is no issue with this uh, for you then I think you can still make progress despite Mercury's retrograde. Also Venus forges a beautiful angle to Pluto so uh, and also Mercury a fantastic angle to Jupiter so there is, as I said, a paradox threaded through your situation this week. Progress is definitely possible. There just may be a niggle or two along the way.